All right, so this is likely going to be part of a series of videos. Um, I'm going to call it dumb questions people ask, I guess. Um, first of all, I answer this question in almost every video I make. So asking this is just telling me that you didn't watch my video. But anyways, a lot of people will ask me this question about which size screwdriver they use. I think part of the problem is um, maybe in school they're used to um, asking their friends, what's the answer to this question? What did, what did you get for this? Um, but that's not how you want to learn. The way you want to learn is you take a look at what you're working with and then you want to try and figure these kinds of things out. This is how you learn. Getting answers is not how you learn because then you will only know the specific answer to the specific question. So first thing you want to do when you're trying to figure out what size screw you want or screwdriver, of course you're going to want like a screwdriver set, all right? I put some links to some decent sets in the description below. So you're going to want a screwdriver set, um, something like this that has all different size bits, something that's designed for what you're doing. So if you're working on small electronics, you want a tool set that will have bits that's designed for small electronics. Here you can see this set, it shows you the different shapes, it shows you what type, the numbers, the measurements. But even if they got rid of every single number, every single thing on here, um, I mean, all of us grew up with those little toys where they go, where does this little shape go? You put the circle in the circle hole, the square in the square hole, you put the rectangle in the rectangle hole, the star in the star hole. Um, but some people, they act like they grew up with this type of version of that toy. This is a square. Can you guess which spot that goes in? That's right, it goes in the square hole. And how about this rectangle? That one, that goes in there too. Up next, we've got this thin rectangle. Can you guess where that goes? That's right, it goes in the square hole. And up next, a cylinder. Hmm, I think that goes in the square hole. Now, we've also got this semicircle right here. Do you see a slot that would fit the semicircle? That's right, it's the square hole. Okay. Up next, the triangle. We know what hole that goes into, right? That's right, the square hole. And up, la up next, we have the arch. And you guessed it, it goes in the square hole. So anyways, um, what you want to do, again, you don't want a cheat sheet. You don't want someone to just tell you, put use this size screwdriver. Um, most of the time it's okay, but sometimes when you get a device where somebody put different size screws in the wrong spot or they put something else there, somebody replaced the screws or they damaged it, um, you're going to want to know that it's not always going to work out the way, like, intended. So if they're always using a PH1, Phillips 1, or JIS 1, um, screwdriver, not all the time is your computer going to be matching exactly because you never know. Um, somebody might have, again, changed the screws or damaged it or something. So the thing you want to do, first of all, is take a look at what the head of the screwdriver or the screw looks like. Here you can see a cross in there. So I can tell you, oh yeah, that's a PH2. But that's um, not the only thing you can use. As you can see, this also has like the hex kind of thing on it or I don't know what you would call that. Again, it doesn't really matter what these are called as long as you can get something that fits in there properly, okay? So it's not important to know what size PH or whatever or JIS this is or cross size screwdriver. The only thing you need to know is this fits in here. It's a tight fit. The screw's not wobbling with the screwdriver. And you can see here, the screwdriver holds it really well. If I were to say use a PH1 or something, and then you just go grab a random screw and maybe somebody put the wrong size screw, here you can see how wobbly this screw is on here. There's a good chance if you use the wrong one here, you'll either destroy your screwdriver or you'll, you'll destroy the screw. And if you destroy the screw, then you're going to have a really tough time getting this thing out. So it's not such a good idea to um, go just based on what other people used or what other people said. All right, here you can see this other type of screwdriver. All right, you'll probably be like, well, what kind of screwdriver this is? You can see there's a slot here, so you can probably use a flathead screwdriver. And then you can also see there's this like star shaped looking thing inside there. All right, so you'll want to be like, okay, well, what fits in there? You can see the shape. Easiest way you do that, you look at your tool set, look at all the tips. Here you see it looks something like this. Just grab something like that, okay? 
all right you might not get the right one the first time you can see this one actually fits properly um, but maybe you don't know and you just grab the wrong one and you go okay well obviously this one's not fitting in there right so what do you do of course you get the one a little bit smaller and once you get the right one there you go okay so it's like most of this stuff is kind of you can figure it out common sense you don't need to um, find a specific thing so i think the main problem is people don't have a proper tool set so what you want is to get a tool set that has what you need all right okay so here you see same exact one now you can get a flat head but here you can see the flat head is a little bit too short so of course you can use this screw but you don't want to use this kind of screwdriver with this because if you have this loose fit that's where you end up breaking things and you end up having problems okay there's so many different types of screws um, the head is not always matching with the screw bottom as you can see a lot of these have the same type at the bottom but then the top is going to be different okay so you can't just go based off um, what other people use because other people might have swapped the screws sometimes the manufacturer won't even use the same screw or screwdriver um, to do this so you want to make sure okay so you see this one again another cross just see what fits this fits really well all right tight fit holds on well of course then you can also be like using the wrong smaller one so you see this, this is like very wobbly. It's kind of wiggling around in the socket. You don't want that, okay? So you wanna make sure that it's a tight fit. In a pinch, you can try and use these. You'll have to use a lot of downward force to make sure the screwdriver doesn't like skip out of these pieces. Um, but I get a lot of people, they use the wrong size screwdriver and then they destroy the screw and then it's much, much harder to remove. So it's very important go based on what you see on the top okay here you see another one like this okay you just guess grab one that looks close to the right size see if it fits if it doesn't fit if it's too big go ahead and go smaller if it's too small and too wobbly um, just go ahead and go bigger so here you go you see this one fits really nicely okay it's not really difficult it's very easy to figure out what size screw you need um, so i think the biggest problem is um, make sure to get a nice screwdriver set okay you got all different kinds of screws there's this one here you'll be like okay what is that you see there's like a star shaped so it's not the regular six shaped one so you go ahead look at your tool set okay then you see there's some star shaped ones there so you grab the star shape you find out which one fits and then see okay this one doesn't fit right no okay so you go down it's too big get a smaller one all right so very simple very easy to find out I don't really understand why people ask me which screwdriver to use. Whichever one fits the best, that's what you use. All right, so hopefully this video will help some people if you have friends or whoever that asks you that kind of question. Um, yeah, feel free to show them this video. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.